Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle for Warhammer 2. So this time we're playing as the High Elves and we're up against the Wood Elves. Now before I go into this match, I was expecting some uh, really heavy, you know, skirmish uh, fighting from the Wood Elves and this is the reason I went with four Dragon Princes over here. I also got Teclis with only the net on him and the Potion of Charoi and the other passives and uh, a Mage of Life with um, Earth Blood and Shield of Thorns. <clears throat> For the front line it's just a bunch of spearmen along with the uh, Silence of Mathlan over here which provide a little bit of protection. <coughs> and I also got two Illyrian Rivers back here hidden. And the reason for that is, so look at this map over here. I'm uh, I'm on the north, okay, and the other player is on the south. So he's looking at the map like this. And if you notice that uh, resize radar map icon, actually hides my Lyrian rivers. And this is the reason I always, if even if the uh, the map is flat, I'm gonna place my uh, vanguard deployed units over here because that thing actually hides uh, my units from uh, from the minimap. And this is a map actually that you can't hide like anywhere wherever you drop except a few places as you can see over here it's uh, every uh, every time uh, the opponent is gonna see you so bear in mind this tiny detail over here uh yeah anyway so for my uh, opponent a really weird build as you can see a front line of spears along with the uh wither heart uh, guards and some uh, where is it some dryads somewhere over here i missed them and every spear is backed by one Glade Guard with Hangbane Tips. In general, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's right. And also it's, um, <clears throat> a Spell Singer with uh, Beasts. Um, what's that? I totally forgot the name. Oh, Wisson's Wild Form and the Amber Spear. Oh, quite a nice spell for uh, hitting uh, pretty much anything, really. It does damage to single entities. It does damage to, uh, to units. And the Glade Lord over here with just the uh, the Prey of Nathrama and Arrow of Kernos. So immediately, as I say, as I uh, I'm gonna see that I'm gonna move my albi uh, my army into a fixed formation, echelon formation. If you guys know what uh, what that is, from the uh, battle uh, from uh, from uh, the battle when where the Boeotians actually defeated the Spartans, which was quite a big thing at the time. So yeah, my whole army is gonna shifting just to face one. Uh, <clears throat> one side of the enemy and over here I'm just gonna be uh, you know just uh, dragging and uh, going into different directions with my cavalry just to throw my opponent off and I'm just gonna get the charge with some of the dragon princes into some of this and I'm just gonna keep pushing with my cavalry all over the place like this so uh, yeah these guys will just run away just uh, let the spears follow them and we're just gonna get to the next archers pretty damn simple isn't it do these guys have like silver shields? No, it's bronze. So these guys have armor piercing, right? No, they don't. So I don't know what my opponent was thinking over here, but uh, well, you must have seen this build quite some often times. It's usually uh, quite... Uh, it's not quite unique. So my Lyrian Rivers at the same time are gonna be moving. Uh, he has no idea that I have them. He hasn't seen them yet. And they're gonna drop on this uh, Glade Guard over here along with... Uh, with the other one, uh, and the other one is just gonna go for this one. Yeah, the Dragon Prince is just uh, pretty much wreaking havoc. They're just uh, an unstoppable force at the moment, and now I'm gonna send in my spears to engage. Where did these guys come from? Were they Vanguard deployed and I didn't see them? Do they have a uh, Vanguard deploy? They don't, so yeah, probably they just uh, moved up front. So over here, I'm just gonna keep doing my things, just getting the charge onto his Glade Guard and just keep on running, avoid the, uh, the spears at any cost because he doesn't have anything to stop me so I'm not gonna put that advantage away. My uh, Mage of Life is getting uh, targeted down by uh, his archers and stuff but I'm just gonna drop an Earth Blood anytime soon I think over here and uh, yeah my Dragon Princes over here are engaging the Glade Guard, uh, one of them with Starfire Sapts. I think he has some with Poison if I'm correct. I think it's three with Poison and three with Fire Arrows, Starfire Sapts. So finally the spears are gonna engage and uh, this is the thing that I needed, like uh, the cavalry just uh, throwing uh, the opponent off. Over here I'm just, am I gonna go for the charge? I think yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting it last second because these guys weren't braced. They managed to brace, to brace at the last second but, uh, oh I was actually aiming for the glade guard in them, not actually the spears. 
some guys have come back which I didn't really notice and I'm gonna go after them like uh, these guys are taking the, uh, the signs of my flan out like down to 30% health but as soon as I notice that I'm just gonna send some Illyrian rivers some uh, or some dragon princes and uh, yeah the backline fight is just going pretty damn well uh, some Illyrian rivers uh, I saw them fighting over here I just uh, yeah it was just Illyrian rivers who cares I'm gonna get the charge on this unbraced spears although he managed to brace it the last second which was uh, quite nice for him from him so uh, I think he was targeting Teclis, yeah he's uh, targeting Teclis down with his arrows and uh, his uh, Amber Spears so he has taken some damage, also the Starfire Shafts and uh, honestly I haven't, uh, I think I haven't realized that uh, these Starfire Shafts are still around so over here and uh, a Shield of Thorns is gonna drop just provide with those Spears the extra weapon damage and the physical resistance in order to stay at the fight longer and yeah, they're gonna be doing quite well. Like overall, my spears, uh, the Elven spears, High Elven spears, are a lot better than the uh, Eternal Guard. So they will build, uh, beat them on one on one. And just with a mere cycle charging over here, they're, they're just gonna be unstoppable. So another charge coming down over here. I wasn't. Uh, I oh, I got a sandwich on those spears. Nice, which uh, completely shatters them. Uh, I'm just gonna pull my Dragon Princes out. Uh, I'm just. It's, he's just all over the place, right? <laughs> like I'm just trying to run around like a rabbit dog, just get as many as I can. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Some dragon princes now are just gonna go after these uh, fire sire shafts <clears throat> and hang by tips finally. And the rest of the guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna send two from here and another two from here to take care of them because the front line can easily hold over here. Some Illyrian rivers are getting dragged down here into the fight against the spears, which uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. I was actually just aiming for the general in order to uh, do so, uh, some work on her because she's not, uh, the Glade Lord is not quite good on uh, melee, uh, especially when she's on foot and uh, just mere Illyrian rivers can easily drag her down just by sheer numbers. Over here I'm just gonna engage uh, the spears uh, with uh, some of the uh, Illyrian rivers over here just to get techless in there and I think uh, these guys will eventually break, the Illyrian rivers are gonna pull off. I have uh, actually managed to get the spell singer with just one of my spears. I think he was, uh, yeah, he forgot about his uh, spell sling, uh, singer over here, and uh, my spears were able to get him. The backtards coming up for these drives over here by the dragon princes, and it's gonna be, yeah, pretty damn damaging. So finally, these dragon princes will get to the glade guard, and uh, have we shut down this one? Yeah, we totally shut them down actually. We completely killed one of the two units, so because it was two, and now it's only one shattered. And uh, yeah, these dragon princes are just gonna take a charge on these eternal guard because they they weren't braced, and now they're just gonna go for the uh, bowman back here. And I think the rest of his army is gonna follow. <coughs> so this battle was mostly just high intensive uh, micro on the cavalry. Uh, my spears didn't do much. I just gave the order, go in, just uh, be a nonsense, and uh, yeah. Just uh, without cavalry to uh, pin your opponent in place, I was just able to run around and just uh, just avoid his spears and hit his archers straight on. Uh, I'm feeling quite glad that I actually went for the extra two Illyrian rivers because they could have done uh, uh, a lot of damage if, if I hadn't shut them all down. And with four units, you can't easily shut ten archer units down. <laughs> so yeah. I went specifically for that because I was expecting a heavy, a heavier kiting build, but well, it didn't go that way. Anyway, so as you can see over here, the Dragon Princes absolutely nailed it. They got uh, their money's worth and actually everybody got a Severon. Some of them got two, even the Spears over here got one. The Illyrian Rivers, uh, yeah, they, they did decently, they did really decently. And the Mage of Life just uh, kept healing up my boys and keep them, keeping them uh, quite tough because uh, of the Seal of the Thorns. For my opponent, um, I don't really have much to say. I've seen this build quite multiple times and, uh, well, I just... Um, if you're go, uh, if you're gonna go like really narrow, I think it's gonna be bad for you if you're gonna be facing this army. Uh, it depends on the build, but uh, for me, I think uh, it was quite easy because of the huge cavalry forces that I had. Six of them, yeah, that's that's crazy, isn't it? So yeah, <clears throat> um, I really, um, I really like. I hope you like this battle, guys. So. Um, feel free to comment or like. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit the notification button. And uh, yeah, gonna be seeing you next time. Bye bye.